Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So this week, I kind of felt like doing something a little bit out of the box, a little bit different. You know, no molds, no acrylic shapes or anything. So I have this cool piece of wood and I thought that we could do some like sunset beach waves on this piece of wood. What do you think? <laughs> so yeah, I don't know. I just, for some reason, I was trying to come up with like an idea for this week and I just thought of like getting a cool old looking piece of wood and doing some like really bright sunset colored beach waves. I don't know why, that just popped into my head. Sometimes I, I just really like to do something more abstract um, and a little bit different. So I thought that this would be really cool. It's gonna be like a different style of beach wave than I did the last time we did beach waves. So first of all, thank you so much Alyssa for letting me have this piece of wood. Yeah, if you guys are interested in seeing this piece of wood get some really pretty sunset beach waves on it, then continue watching. Okay, so like I said, I wanna do some sunset beach waves on this piece of wood. I can't decide if I wanna go this way or if I wanna go this way. Um, so once we decide that, I definitely wanna do more of like the 3D style of beach waves. The last time we did beach waves, I did it all in one pour and it was all flat, obviously besides the sand and the textured parts of it. Um, but I kinda wanna do those beach waves where you do a, a couple different layers in each wave. So each wave is its, is its own layer and it kind of like has that texture to it and it looks really cool, it looks really pretty. So I definitely wanna do each wave as its own layer and I wanna do sunset. So I wanna do like, purple and yellow and orange and pink and I think that that would be really pretty and different from the last beach wave piece that we did. So besides this really cool piece of wood, I have some dispersion colors here. These are from Counterculture DIY and usually when I do beach waves I use these. I will show you guys the close-ups of these colors and like the names of them and everything when we get into the project like I always do. I'm also going to be using the armor art <laughs> armor art from Counterculture DIY and this is what does like the lacy beach Okay, it's like halfway across the room now. Anyway, um, again, I will show you a close up of this uh, product when we get into the project and you can see it close up. Uh, it is in white and it is the product that makes those like lacy beach wave looks. I'm also gonna be using some of my silicone cups for the different colors and then my silicone mixing sticks. I love these. And of course I'm gonna use my respirator and some gloves. I'm also gonna be using my torch and then my heat gun. This is a more like high powered, high heat heat gun. So it has like the temperature gauge on the back and then it kind of, it blows a little bit more air than the traditional heat gun. Okay, so I think that's everything that we're gonna be using. If I forgot anything, I will of course show you guys. But yeah, so I, I think I wanna do the waves going down this way rather than going this way, right? And I think I'm also going to not put any sand in this piece um, because I kind of want the wood to act as the sand. Oh, something I did forget that is like absolutely necessary. The whole, <laughs> the whole theme of this channel, the resin. <laughs> the resin I'm gonna be using is the Counterculture DIY Artist Resin in medium viscosity. It is the green and yellow label one. So without further ado, we're gonna get started on mixing up some resin and then we'll mix in the colors. So we're gonna get started.
Okay. <laughs> this thing had other plans that were not like lining up with my plans and I think we clashed a little bit. <laughs> but I, uh, it's not what I planned. It's not what I was thinking. Um, but it is still pretty cool. So I'm gonna leave it for now because it's getting pretty hot and if I keep pouring resin on and you know using heat tools on it it's gonna get too hot and I'm probably gonna scorch it which I might have already because I just kept like losing color so I would have to pour more on and then it's got a lot going on right now there's a lot of bubbles everywhere and that is probably from the wood right now this is kind of up in the air I'm not a super fan of it right now um, if I'm gonna be totally honest with you the colors are really cool the blue is blue and not purple <laughs> I added way too much of that blue so I definitely think I think it's cool we're gonna let it cure we're gonna let it sit and then we'll come back to it tomorrow with hopefully a fresh perspective I will see you guys tomorrow
take two. Uh, you guys remember everything that we did yesterday and everything that happened on this piece of wood yesterday? We'll toss it out, forget it completely, pretend it never happened um, because I absolutely hated it and honestly when I went home it was hard for me to not think about it. Like I just kept thinking about how am I going to fix this and I just like the whole night I just wanted to come back here uh, and pour more resin on top of this thing because I really, really was not happy with how that was coming out. When I came back in today, I literally just like, I couldn't even, I couldn't even take a second to tell you guys like what was going on and my thought process on it. I literally just jumped in and now, now she's beautiful. She's, ah, oh, everything I wanted in the first layer is here. No, don't worry don't fret so it is gorgeous now and that is our first layer we're gonna pretend that the first layer never really happened although I will say I think that I'm gonna view it as a blessing in disguise because I really need to like start remembering to seal the wood when I pour resin onto it because that's what all of those bubbles like that's how all those bubbles um, popped up was because there's so much like air and the wood wasn't sealed uh, so a lot of air pockets just came up through the wood. Don't tell anybody about the first layer. Don't tell anybody about the first layer. This layer is our first layer, okay? Pinky promise, everybody, Pinky promise me that you're gonna tell nobody about this first layer because, uh, yeah, I'm just not proud of it. So I am, however, proud of this first layer. So I'm going to let this layer cure and then tomorrow we'll come back and do another beautiful wave probably right in the center of that orangey part and then I'm going to do a purpley wave and I think that's going to be it and I think that's honestly going to like complete the whole thing. I will see you guys tomorrow for the next wave, the purpley wave. We're going to go purple style.
Okay, it's 24 hours later. We are finally at the finish line. This took me so long. I messed up twice, three times maybe? And you might be wondering, girl, why did you leave all of those parts where you messed up in the video? And that's because I'm not trying to sugarcoat anything for you guys. I'm not trying to like make this look super easy like these 3d waves were really difficult for me to do so i don't want to make something look super easy just for the sake of a short video like i want you guys to know what you're going into when you start projects like this so if you were to go into this thinking like oh well it just took heather you know a couple of tries and then you don't get it right away it might feel you know a little more discouraging and i don't ever want to do that so i want to fully prepare you guys if you are going to try this project, that it was difficult for me. That doesn't mean it's gonna be difficult for you. It just was for me because I had a lot of lessons to learn with this. Um, I have never done 3D waves. This <laughs> was my first go at it. And I'm honestly really proud of how it turned out. I mean, there was this whole blue section that I just don't even wanna talk about. I mean, we obviously are not gonna talk about the very first layer, which was it was nasty, let's all just be honest, it was so bad. Um, and then this blue layer here that I actually covered up with like purple and then a little bit of dark blue. On the end, it was horrible. So I messed up quite a few times and getting it to be like 3D and look kind of like frothy waves is kind of difficult. And I, I feel like I learned a lot um, with this project, with doing beach waves that I'm actually really happy that I learned because I feel like that's my whole thing with this channel is that if you mess up it's not the end of the world and it's actually kind of like a blessing in disguise sort of like I understand how frustrating it is to mess up with resin but when you do you learn those lessons and now after this I will be better at doing beach waves and I'll kind of know a little bit more of what I'm doing. <laughs> So when I mess up and I leave it in videos, it's because I want you guys to know the real deal. And also I want to show you guys those mistakes so that you can learn from them. And hopefully you don't have to make those mistakes to learn these lessons. You can kind of just like skip over them and let me make the mistakes for you. So in total, there are one, two, three, four, five layers. There, were, there was almost six layers on this piece, but we all know that I scraped one of them off. <sighs> Again, lessons learned, but there are five layers on this, even though it looks like three, um, there's actually five. But you know what? Again, I'm, I'm really proud of this piece. I'm really happy with how it came out and all the lessons that I learned with it. So and I'm, I'm happy to share them with you so that hopefully you don't have to make the same mistakes as I did. So here are some fabulous sunny clips of this piece i just like it hanging on the wall is magical so here are those magical clips
So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Make sure you're following me on Instagram. It is at artsymadwomen and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I love you guys so freaking much and I will see you on the next